hi welcome back to my channel i am today i am going over this electric blue look this is um totally something that i wouldn't normally not do i normally try to stay with like the um more neutral shades on my eyes but today i tried um something new and i put some blues and kept it pretty simple with a muted lip um, and to my surprise, I actually like the way this looks. It's really not even that uh, too much, as you can see. Um, even though it's blue, it doesn't look too crazy, in my opinion. But if you're interested, stay tuned to get how I got to this look. So I am here to show you the electric blue makeup look. Um, I usually start off with my eyebrows and I shape my brows. Um, usually my eyes are like usually uh, more precise, they're usually cleaner. But um, I, I shape it to the look that I want. And you don't have to really worry too much about the look because you can always fix it with concealer and that's what you see me doing here so i give my brow because my brow is not as clean as i would like i give it the complete shape with the concealer and as you can see when you uh shape your brows with the concealer you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like once you blend all the concealer in so uh you want to blend 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 that's like your your go-to thing with this because you don't want it to give the halo effect which is where the top and bottoms of your eyebrow look super light I um, put some eyeshadow uh, primer on my lids off camera and now you see me going in um, windshield wiper motions with like a, a neutral color I usually do that on my crease and um, it's usually a color that's similar to my complexion um, something that is uh, neutral especially when you're doing these blue blues you want to pack on the color because you're laying multiple layering multiple colors some people think that you're only using one or two shades but you will see that I use several several shades um, once you do that to your liking and you could see like it, it fills in and um, you like the way it looks you can start with your darkest color so you see me starting with a dark um, navy blue or like a midnight blue and I put that on my um, my lid and um, pack it on I put as much as possible on there and uh, because I have hooded eyes my eyes are kind of tricky because I can't really do much of a cut crease I mean I can but the space in which I have to maneuver with it is not as much and so I do with what I can and so um, I've already started on the other lid I'm putting that same midnight blue color on there and uh, I, um, I put it on there and try to cover my whole lid with that color um, yeah so you want to pack that on and make sure you fill in all of the um, patches and spots so that it's on exactly where you want it. Now um, I go in with another blue. This blue is lighter. It's more of the electric shade. Um, but those colors I put more so on my um, the middle part of my lid. And I work my way to the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner outer corner of my lid but I pack that on in the middle part of the lid just to see where it's going so I don't put it all the way down at the corners but I put it in the middle just to get an idea of how I would want it to look and as you can see this um, 
this blue is a lighter blue and it kind of has more shimmer it's almost iridescent so it kind of gives off like a purplish a silver and blue color um, so even once I put that second color you can see that I have the darker blue on the corners and that's where I go in with um, another blue this blue is more so of a turquoise blue and I put that in the inner corner of my eyes just to kind of give it like a um, gradient look so the color that I use in my um the corner of my eyes are definitely a lot lighter now I'm done with the eyeshadow and I'm doing um, I'm putting concealer under my eye because I'm definitely gonna go in with that blue underneath um, on my eyelids so because I'm doing that I have to put the concealer first so that I don't get too much um, I don't get too much uh, dusting of the eyeshadow so you have to make sure you cover that first so now I'm going with the uh, concealer over my uh, over my forehead and under my eyes and what you see me doing now is contouring my nose so with that same eyeshadow brush that I use to for my crease I use that light shade to contour my nose and give my nose a more slimming effect now what you see me doing is uh, putting my translucent powder underneath my eyes everywhere that you saw me put that concealer I put that underneath my eye and I set it I let it sit there for a while before um, I really blend but I let it set for a little bit um, I'll definitely have the list of all my I use all of the same products for um, my makeup tutorials the only things that I really change are the eyeshadows but I'll definitely list everything that I use on my um, in my um, description box now what you see me doing is wherever I did not put um, highlighter or concealer I go in with my foundation and you're basically just um, because I don't contour my cheeks um, the concealer works as the sculpting that I need so I have my actual shade it's not as is not as light as the concealer is the shade of my skin and um, whenever picking foundation I usually go with a, a, a red undertone foundation because I like the way that looks but I believe that my skin is more neutral but I like the look of the red undertones in the foundation. So that's why you'll see my foundation looks a little bit red. But once I actually put my powder to set the actual foundation, it'll all make sense. So um, now uh, you see me packing on my foundation powder just to... Um, to blend all the two colors the concealer and my foundation together and also to set my foundation and as you see the more um, I put the powder the more the two colors come together it no longer looks like it no longer looks like a color separation on my face and it just uh, it serves its purpose because the point of the concealer is to make your eyes look brighter it's for you know when people see your face it draws more attention to your eyes so that is why when you do an under eye concealer which is a highlight you pick a color that is a couple of shades lighter than your actual um, foundation and now you see me lining my lips and um, when I line my lips I usually use a liner that is close to um, my skin tone and um, I'm gonna be doing a nude lip and so I use a chocolate brown liner and I line my lips really good and I am using my MAC uh, foundation I mean my MAC lipstick and I am using that to put the first layer of color on my lip and so I go in with um, my NYX uh, lip gloss and as you can see that is the finished look um, everything is blended together um, pretty simple look but very dramatic for me I wouldn't normally do a color like this let me know in the comments how you feel about this would you try this look is this something that you would do 
let me know what you if you would want to try this.